Hi YouTube, welcome to Shaylin's Crochet and Crafts. And today I bought a big Afghan loom from Joanne Fabrics. No, they're not sponsored. I bought it myself. Oh, look at this. So I'm going to open it and show you what's inside. So you get the loom. And you get a little pick. And I did buy a few things. I got myself a new pick. But this is the one that comes with the loom. And directions. And there's three different kinds of blankets they show you in here. They show you how to cast on. They show you the flat stitch, purl stitch, basic bind off, and then they have an easy afghan, a basket weave, and a striped blanket. And me being me, I like to do the most complicated one, and they get really discouraged and then quit. But anyway, I want to try the basket weave and I'm going to do it in holiday colors. So this is going to be my holiday blankets, but I kind of need to do it now. Hopefully I can finish it by then, we'll see. So follow along with my journey here. For the basket weave, it has four and four. So what I'm going to do is you start here, it has a little which this is backwards because it's facing me. It has a little triangle here. That's where you start. So each four pegs, I think I'm going to do a dry erase red and then leave four pegs white, four pegs red, all the way around. Ugh. I'm not used to such big projects and this is a little bit overwhelming for me, but I'm going to try and do a little bit each day so it's not so overwhelming. So, I'm going to mark my pegs and then I'm going to cast on. So I got all my pegs marked and here are my yarns I'm going to use this, I think I got this one from Hobby Lobby, Walmart, this was Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and Hobby Lobby. I don't know if I'm going to use the brown, we'll see. I saw one on Pinterest that had brown in it and I kind of liked it. So we'll see, I don't know. And then from Joann's, I bought extra this loom pin tool. So you thread your yarn through here and it makes it easier to go around the pegs. And then I also bought a different hook because when I crochet, my I have a tendency to hurt my hand so I figured that the, with a thicker handle, that would help because that helps when I crochet to have a thicker handle. And I bought some more stitch markers. This was from Joann's. All right, let's try and get this thing started. Well, I have kind of made a mess with my loom. I didn't really, I put it on my shelves and it ended up falling behind my shelves and made a big mess. And some of the things are coming off now. So 
And when I started my basket weave, the first two rows, I figured out I was doing the purl stitch wrong. So it's kind of a big mess right now. So I think I'm going to just start over. <laughs> this is so painful to do. I'm gonna just start over, get my yarn back correct, and I'm just going to do the basic blanket with these. Well, I made a huge mess. <laughs> and it's still just tangled up in the loom. Uh, all right, I'll get this all straightened back out and start again. Well, that was surprisingly easy. I got it all wrapped and done. But this, I don't think I've ever has said in the video yet. This yarn is, I love this yarn. Super soft, it's metallic, and the name of it is Christmas. And my loom is from Joann's. I believe I got this yarn from Hobby Lobby. So I'm getting close to the end of this skein and I just wanted to show you because I don't think I've done the, anything yet with it, but you just go around, you go back behind the peg and around and you keep doing that till you get all the way to the end. Some patterns don't call for all the pegs to be used but that's how I'm doing this one. Also, I have decided after a few snags that I'm not gonna do the basket weave stitch right now. Oh, sorry. And of course, another knot to unravel. I like this pen, but it's a little thick, so I can't, I see a lot of people on TikTok doing these and they go so fast, but I think it's just because they're using a regular pen that they've taken apart and it's a lot thinner and they can get through with the pegs a lot faster. This one takes some practice, I feel. So you just go back and around, back and around, back around. And then when you get to the end, you don't want to keep going in a circle because you need to have the space at the end so then it makes it a blanket. If you kept going, then you just have a continuous round and you wouldn't have a blanket. So we're almost to the end. And here's our last one, because right here is where we're going to leave our space, right here. Is So I'm doing my last one, I'm bringing it down. But here's a, here's a closer look. Right in between here is you never want to go and make a circle in there, because that's going to connect it all together. And then you wouldn't have a blanket, you wouldn't have those ends. Oh, there it went, it unraveled on me. So right here where that triangle is, that's where we end. So you don't wanna wrap, you always wanna keep these two spaces, these two pegs, let me hold this down. Right here, in between here, you never wanna keep going into a continuous loop because then you wouldn't have any edges to your blanket. It would just be one big, kind of like sleeping bag, essentially. So I, to help me when I do this part, I tape it down and then I start to use my little pick tool. So I taped it down and this is the last one. 
I wrapped right here. So I already had flipped this one over, flipped this one over, because we're going to go this way. Now, this is how you do it. You take your pick tool and go like this, pull it, and go over top and down. Take the bottom one, wrap it over top and down. And you just repeat that process all the way till you get back around to this one. Then you'll wrap it again the opposite way. So I've been working on this loom for what feels like forever. And I finally have one skein on here. And this is how long it is with just one skein. So I was hoping to have this done by Christmas, but it's December 1st now and it's definitely not going to get done by Christmas. But here's what one skein looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and start another one. So I thought I'd add that to this video and then post it for you guys to watch. So I'm getting ready to thread my yarn to start my knitting loom. And this is the knitting loom pen. I got it from Joann's. And it comes with this nifty little thing in the back here. And you just take it off and it's this long metal piece. And you take your yarn and here's the end of the yarn. And all you do is just hook that onto the yarn like that. And then you slide it into this pin part. And all you gotta do is pull it out like this and then it's threaded and it's super easy. And then this part just snaps back onto the back. And then you can get started. So what I did, I put a slip knot, and then here's my pin, and just put it right there on where the triangle is, and then back and around, keep going. And all you do is <clears throat> Excuse me. Pick up that bottom piece and put it over. We'll weave that in. Pick up that bottom piece over. Bottom, bring it over the top. Just like that. 